Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator Myths. Is this? A series where you guys ask me it questions, like give me challenges, gasoline? or tell me myths that you guys have about the game, and I try to answer them in this video. We have a lot of good ones to go through today, so let's get it started. Alright, so before we start today's episode, a lot of you guys were saying in the last video that when I killed a student, the evil girl was saying some new dialogue that you guys have never seen before. I don't know what she's saying, but I know it's something naughty because she's so damn evil. So we are gonna check it out right now. Okay, so let me boost my reputation real quick. And then let's talk to the evil girl. She's Damn it, Senpai. strange. You know I get all crazy when you get close to me. Okay, there you go. We asked her to follow us. I'm going to go up to the roof. Kill Midori. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's see what she says. You watching this evil girl? All right. Oh my God, this can't be happening. Yeah, right. Look at that face. So goddamn evil. That was beautiful. Don't worry. I won't tell anyone what I saw. And she gave me the winky face. Is that new dialogue? I could have sworn I heard her say something like that before. Hold on. Get your ass over here. I want to talk to you one more time. Hold on. Girl, evil girl. Ah, uh, we can't talk to her anymore. Okay. I don't know if that's what she said. Let me try doing something else like setting Kakona on fire and let's see if she says anything different. Okay, so I just watched my last video and when it happened, I actually falcon punched somebody in the middle of a crowd. So I don't know exactly who said it, but a lot of people are predicting that it's her because she's the only one who usually says shit like that. But I think it just has to be her witnessing a corpse instead of me killing them in front of her. So I'm just gonna end somebody's life who while she's not in the picture and then when she sees the corpse, maybe she'll say something different then. Okay, so Yui's right there. Let me kill Midori real quick. Okay, and then let's go here. I'm gonna forgive my sins. Then I'm gonna teleport to the roof, hide my naifu, and Yui's still right there, okay. So those people witnessed what happened, but her, she didn't see anything yet. Follow me, please. And then let's see what happens as soon as she sees this corpse. Come on, girl. A corpse? Fascinating. I wish I could take a closer look, but no. Yup, she did say something different. Okay, cool. So in order for her to say that new line of dialogue, she just has to see the corpse. She can't witness you in the act of ending a life because then she'll say what she said the first time. She just has to see the corpse on its own without you doing anything to it. So for anybody who was wondering who said that or why it triggered that, yeah, you just gotta have the corpse on the ground already and then she's gonna say, fascinating. I wish I could take a closer look, but no. Anyway, let's get on to the myths. Students slash teachers now react to you holding body parts, so if you clean up all evidence but hold one body part when the day ends, can the police identify a body? That was actually something that I thought was kind of weird when I started playing this game. The fact that when there was body parts all over the ground, students would just walk over them like it was carpet or something, but now when you're holding a body part, students will react to it. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to dispose of all the body parts. Actually, I'm going to forgive my sins. There you go. So I'm gonna dispose of all the body parts except for one, and then we're gonna see what happens. What the fuck? How can nobody Ooh, notice this? Somebody's definitely gonna notice this hair flopping around on this rocket. cello case. I have a feeling, though, that the police are gonna identify the body, especially if you're holding, like, a bloody hand. The fact that the students and teachers can now notice you holding a body part, like, even if you're just holding a hand, it could be anybody's hand. But in this game, I'm pretty sure they're gonna identify it. Let me know your predictions in the comments below. I'm gonna dispose of this last one right here. Okay, and I don't need to change my clothes because I forgave my sins, so activate. And right now, I'm just gonna mop up all the blood, and then we are gonna hold the body part, and we're gonna end the day. Okay, so I got all the blood mopped up. There's no blood inside of this room. And then I'm going to pick up this arm. There you go. We are gonna end the day. And let's see what happens. The school day has ended. Teachers must walk through the school and tell any lingering students to leave. While walking around the school, a teacher discovers a mysterious blood stain. Oh, blood stain? hell no, what blood boy. stain? I could have sworn I cleaned all the blood stain. Fuck out of here. The police arrive at school. The police are unable to locate any corpses on school grounds. The police are unable to locate any murder weapons. The police question Yandere chan but cannot link her to any crimes, even though I'm clearly holding a severed bloody arm in my hands. The police do not have enough evidence to perform an arrest. Yeah, a whole severed arm isn't enough evidence. The police investigation ends and students are free to leave. Okay, so I guess we're free to go. But what happens if the students and teachers notice you holding the arm? Then you end the day. Will the police arrest you? We're going to figure that out right now. Okay, so here we are again, guys. I disposed of the weapon and all the body parts. This time, I'm going to have the whole head. So they can identify it if the police do come. We are going to go up onto the roof and we are going to show these students. Look at them reacting to this head. You guys see that? Oh my god, this can't be happening. Okay, we got three witnesses. We are going to end the day with the head in our hands. And let's see if they can identify the body. The police arrive at school. 
The police are unable to locate any corpses on school grounds. Okay, there you have it, guys. It doesn't matter if it's a hand, a leg, even their freaking head. The police are unable to locate any corpses on school grounds, so that is officially debunked. On to the next one. How to trap Kakona in the greenhouse forever. One, get Kakona to follow you. Two, go all the way to the greenhouse. Three, fill the bucket with gasoline. Four, set it as a trap above the doors. Five, teleport outside the greenhouse. She will never be able to get out. This is a glitch that's probably going to be fixed soon because I believe when you could first set the traps above the doors, you could glitch one of the buckets on top of like the single doors, but the trap is only supposed to work for double doors and the greenhouse does have double doors. So we can trap Kakona in there if we can place the bucket on there. And then we're gonna have to teleport out because we're not gonna be able to open the door ourselves. So let's set the trap. There you go. And we can't open the door ourselves, but we can teleport right outside. And there's Kakona. She kind of looks like a little lab rat in the cage. I kind of feel sorry for her. Let me actually go to class, and then I'm going to go back to the greenhouse, and let's see if she's still there. Nope. Aw, oh, she's not there. Damn it, but the door's still closed. So how the fuck did Kakona get out of there? Okay, guys, I think the only way this can work is after we set the trap, we don't teleport to class. We don't do any of that stuff. All we do is fast forward time the normal way, and she's gonna be stuck in there forever. So if you want your very own Kakona Lab Rat, all you gotta do is take her to the greenhouse, set the bucket trap above the doors, teleport out, and she'll never be able to escape as long as you don't go to class or do any activity or anything that'll load the screen. Anyway, on to the next one. This one involves the gym teacher. One, activate an Easter egg except Ebola. Two, kill a random student like my waifu. Three, take the corpse to the gym teacher. Four, go up to her and you'll see she's not smiling anymore. And if you point the camera at her, she'll react like a normal teacher, not like she normally does. I guess since we activated the Easter egg, we got to use the weapon that's attached to the Easter egg. So let's do that. Okay, um, I don't know if this is going to work because she got dismembered. Fuck. Whatever. We'll take the torso to the gym teacher and then we're going to see how she reacts. So right now she's smiling, I guess. It's not really a smile. It's like a half-ass smile. We're going to show her this. Hello? Please? No? Okay, uh, I guess it doesn't work with dismembered body parts. Let's try a different Easter egg. Okay, this time we're in Cerno mode. And this time I think it'll work. And let's see, she's smiling, right? Yep, she's smiling. Now I bring the corpse to her. And she is not smiling, you're right. What the fuck? She was just smiling a second ago. I guess dead bodies really put a frown on her face. Okay, right now we are in slender mode. And goddamn, I forgot how tall she is. What NBA team she played for? Let's kill my waifu. What in the goddamn? She's attached to our knees. And before we show the teacher, let's see the smile on her face. There you go. Look at that smile. She's probably excited about the TV dinner she's going to heat up after work. And let's show her the body. That is so fucking stupid. <laughs> All right, guys. This is dumb as fuck. She has a smile on her face before we show her the body. And then once we show it to her, she has a frown on her face. It's stupid as hell, but it is true. So for anybody who was wondering that, there you go. On to the next one. This next one is going to be a three-in-one myth, meaning that I can do all three of these easy, so I'm going to do it all in one sitting. So the first one is, Jay, I have a question. Can you pour the water or gasoline on yourself? And the next one is, what happens if you throw a match on a bucket of gasoline? And the third one was telling me to kill a person in the third floor haunted bathroom, and after I'm done killing them, the ghost is going to say some new dialogue. And for some reason, it got a decent amount of likes, meaning that people didn't know if it was true or not, and they wanted to see me do it. So I'm going to do all three of those right now so let's go so the first one was asking if you can pour some liquids on yourself the only thing that you can do is pour it forward like this so you can't really pour it on yourself i guess maybe what you're asking is if the door opens can it go on me and the answer is no because you can't open the door yourself you're gonna have to wait for someone to walk through it so what we're gonna do right now we're gonna put the bucket on top of the door we're gonna wait for kakoni to answer her phone in the front of the school and stuff like that we're gonna walk through and then you're gonna see that she's not able to get wet all right there you go kakoni is coming i'm gonna run exactly at the same spot she is and bam ran under the water Someone she got wet yandere chan clean as a whistle i don't even Someone think that it's this. even implemented into the game for her to get wet with the liquid but somebody was asking it and it got a decent amount of likes meaning that a lot of people wanted to see me do it but yeah that one was easy to debunk the second one is what happens if you throw the match in a bucket of gasoline realistically i think if you threw a match on top of a bucket of gasoline it would light on fire instantly but in the world of this game, I don't think diddly shit's gonna happen. But we're just gonna try it out anyway. Alright, so here we go. We got the matches in hand. We got the bucket of piss over there. So, bam. Nothing. 
absolutely nothing. That one went right in there, too. Look at that. It's floating inside of the bucket of gasoline. You guys saw that shit? Hold on. Let me see if I can do that again. There you go. Yeah. It's twirling around like some Disney shit. Hi, I'm Raven from That's So Raven, and you're watching Disney Channel. <laughs> But yeah, guys, if you throw the match directly into the bucket of gasoline, nothing's gonna happen. Now let's go on to that last myth. Talk to good old Midori, our good old guinea pig. Whoops, I didn't mean to compliment her. Well, maybe I did because she looks awesome today. Can you follow me, please? No, she can't follow me right now because fuck, it's almost class time. Okay, so we got Midori right over here. Time to end the guinea pig's life, foo. Mm. And nothing. Corpse right here in the haunted bathroom. Ghost says nothing. It would have been crazy if the ghost actually did say something, though. But if the ghost actually did say something, I think it would be along the lines of, This myth is fucking bullshit. But anyway, guys, that was the 3-in-1 myth. All of them were easy to answer, and all three of them get the easy debunked. On to the last myth of today's episode. Can you set Kakona on fire after you use the gasoline, water, and blood bucket traps on her? That's an interesting question because I think it matters in which ones you use first and which one you use last. Because I think if you use the gas first, then the water, then the blood, of course she's going to notice the one that is on her most recently. If you use the gasoline last, then I think you can set her on fire. But that's the beauty of this series, guys. We are going to try it out right now, and we are going to see if it can work. So we're going to put the gasoline first, the water on the second door right here. And I remember... Remember there was a key on the keyboard to turn the water into blood uh hold on let me see if i can remember which one it is fuck that's crouch no this one there you go got it and we are gonna put the blood bucket on the third door hello darkness my old friend I think the cool thing about this is that Kakona is going to say three different lines. Sorry, for the gas, I for the water, and for the blood. So let's see this. She's going to get splashed with the gas first. <laughs> oh shit! What? Fuck, I think the crouching thing took effect, right? Yeah, okay, I forgot to do that glitch crouching thing. Fuck me. Okay, there you go. We got the blood on her for this one. This one's supposed to be water. It's all blood. What is this? Is this what the blood? fuck? Where did all this blood come from? There was clearly water in that bucket. This is the blood bucket right here, the one that she's about to go into. Hold on, fuck. We gotta move this bucket, damn it. Kakona, really? There you go. Yeah. So all of them are blood. I think this? I know what happened. You know how blood? I turned the bucket of water into blood? blood Maybe it did it to all three buckets. So let me actually try it again. And this time I'll fill the blood bucket the legit way. Okay, guys, this time I'm doing it the quote unquote legit way. I'm saying it with air quotes because I did summon these two victims. But I think the fact that I did the key on the keyboard to change the water into blood in the bucket automatically, I think that's what fucked me over. It changed every single bucket into blood. But now we're just going to put all this blood specifically into the one right over here so let's do this all right here we go guys first one up is the gasoline there you go what is this it smells like gasoline yep sure does okay now she's gonna go through the water this has to be the water for sure all right here she comes for bucket number two bam the gasoline's still on her okay so maybe we can light her on fire like wait gasoline smells like gasoline no, that shit was water, girl. And now the genius Kakoni is stuck behind the bucket again. Great. What is this? Ah. It smells okay, like Okay, so it doesn't gasoline. overtake the gasoline. So the gasoline is the strongest thing. And we can still set her on fire. So to answer the question, if you set up all three traps, one with gasoline, one with water, one with blood, the gasoline still takes over all that stuff and we can still set her on fire. So that is true. And with that said, that is going to do it for this episode of Yandere Simulator Myths. If you guys have any more comments, questions, challenges, or myths you want potentially featured in the next video, please leave them in this comment section below and I will choose the most creative and unique ones. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too!